Good morning children of 8th standard. Today I will be teaching you English. English first unit consists of prose, poetry and supplementary and grammar. Today I will teach the first part that consists of prose, poetry and supplementary. The second part I will teach you only grammar in a detailed way. Now let us start the prose lesson Hobby Turns a Successful Career. It has three sections and I will give you the summary for the three sections individually. Look at the pictures in the page. The girl is painting. The man is chopping vegetables. We can also see one girl gardening and another cycling. These are their hobbies. Do you have a hobby? Yes, you do, isn't it? Now, let me give you the summary for section 1. A boy named Money had difficulty in reading and writing. His grandfather noticed this and helped him by reading bedtime stories. Gradually, Money started reading on his own. After some days, he also started writing his own stories. In this section, he wrote an essay on hobbies. Hobbies are the activities done during our free time. They are special to people. Some people like gardening, a few like photography and many have book reading as their hobby. Hobby helps people to learn new things, relax after a tiring day, energize our body and mind. Money's hobby was writing. Though many people feel writing is tough, he felt writing was like painting our voice. When he wrote things, he imagined a world with magic and magicians. Writing opened his mind to think beyond the little things with a broader mind. It made him learn new things and enjoy every moment of his life. His hobby of writing helped him in a school too. He could describe things better in his stories. He had no problem in writing English essays or stories as it was his hobby. Thus, it is important to always learn and improve our hobbies. Now, let us move on to the practice exercises. Now, let us see some synonyms. Unique means distinctive or uncommon. Exhaust, tire out, energizes, give energy, passionate, intense or heartfelt, accurately, exactly, fiction, imaginative writing. Now, let us say true or false. Money's hobby is playing cricket. False. Hobbies are unique to people. True. People have hobbies only to pass time. False. Now, let us choose the correct answer. Money imagine a world with the correct choices C. Magic and magicians. When money started writing things, he was unable to dash. The correct choices A. Describe them accurately. Money feels writing is like dash. The correct choices A. Painting the voice. Now, let us move on to the section 2. I will give you the summary for the section 2. Ajay Kumar Gar, a very talented young artist, lived in Jaipur, India. He suffered an injury at the age of 3 and became deaf. His parents tried many hospitals to cure his disability, but it was useless. Ajay used to paint on the walls and floors. Realizing his interest in painting, a court artist of Dolpur, Sri Suwalal, started educating him in painting. After completing his education, Ajay became an apprentice of Asha Devi, who taught him the miniature painting. Soon, Ajay became an accomplished artist in miniature style. He was gifted in the practice of creating images on a grain of rice. Ajay exhibited his work and sold 144 out of 150 paintings displayed in the exhibition. His work became famous throughout India, the United States and the United Kingdom. In 2004, he was awarded a National Award of Accomplishment from the Indian President Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Ajay also involved in the welfare of people with hearing disability and gave them free training. He has been the executive member of Deaf and Dumb Association in Rajasthan. One of the Ajay's current goal is to re-energize the dying art of traditional miniature Indian painting. Thus, Ajay's life shows us that we can turn our hobby into a successful career if we are ready to learn and develop our skills. Now, let us move on to the exercise for this section. Let us learn important meanings. Impairment, disability, miniature, very small of its kind, accomplished, fulfilled, magnified, enhance, exhibit, show or reveal, revitalize, re-energize, 
Next, say true or false. Ajay Garg is an artist. True. Asha Devi taught Ajay the miniature painting. True. Ajay displayed 150 paintings. True. Ajay was awarded by the Indian President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. True. Now, let us move on to the summary of section 3. Here we will see how Ilavaragi's hobby for Karam made her a world champion. Ilavaragi achieved a dream amidst all odds. Her father, A. Irudhiraj, was a district level champion in Karam. His dream of achieving success in it shattered as he was not encouraged and supported by his family members. He determined to achieve his dream through his daughter. So he began coaching her and carried her to the local clubs frequently. She won the match against her father and that gave her the confidence in achieving success. Later, she won the Asia Cup, SAR Cup and the World Championship. She lived with her family in a small one-room apartment in Vyasarpari, Chennai. This was not enough to accommodate her family and to preserve her trophies. She has been playing for the state for almost 14 years, yet she found it difficult to finance her trips for her matches. Ilavaragi is a member of Thiruvallur District Karam Association. She also represented India at the Karam World Championships. She won the 2008 Indian National Karam Championship and became a world champion in the women's singles after beating P. Nirmala in the finals. Thus her passion for Karam took her to the level of world champion. Now let us move on to the exercises in this section. Now let us see the synonyms. Passionate, showing strong feelings, accommodate, sufficient space for. Trophies, a decorated cup given as a token of victory. Shattered, break, damage or destroyed. Fill in the blanks. Money feels, writing is like dash. Painting the voice. Ajay mastered the techniques of dash. Preparing colors and brushes. Ilavaragi won her first match against dash, her father. Next, let us choose correct synonyms for the italic word. Writing is a unique hobby. The synonym of unique is uncommon. Ajay started to paint happily. Synonym of happily is joyfully. Miniature paintings depict Indian culture. Synonym of depict is portrait. Next, choose correct antonyms for the italic word. Antonyms means opposite. Ajay suffered an injury. Opposite of injury is endure. Ajay mastered the technique of painting. Opposite of master is unskilled. Ilavaragi won world championship in dash. Opposite of one is defeat. Now, let us move on to the poetry section of unit 1. Children, you must memorize this poem. My Hobby Reading by Arunacharam Chandrasekharan. Now, let me sing this poem for you. My hobby is reading. It helps me in thought breeding. It takes me to places near and far. It keeps my rational Doors ajar. It teaches me to cackle and cry. Without wings, it lets me fly. I wish if all the children could read in constructing a vigorous society, then we shall succeed. By Arnachalam Chandrasekharan. Now, I will give you the summary for this poem. The poem is written in 2010 by Arnachalam Chandrasekharan, a professional in library and information sciences. His long deep association with books in his library has made him to script this poem on reading as a great hobby. The poet declares the first line itself that reading is his hobby. He says reading hobby helps him to grow and cultivate many good thoughts. Those thoughts take the poet not only to the nearby places but also to remote and far areas. The poet compares his mind to a room and expresses the reading habit enables him to keep the doors of his mind unlocked and half open to permit intelligent and logical reasoning. At the same time, it prevents the unwanted entry of bad and wrong things. Reading practices the poet to take in both happiness and sorrow in the same spirit. It teaches him to laugh loudly during happy, happy times and cry and let out sorrow during painful times. Reading does not restrict or control the thoughts of the poet. Without wings, it allows his thoughts to soar high and fly. The poet aspires that all the children should go to school and study. There should be no illiterates. He believes that if all the children are well educated, 
then they can build a dynamic, strong and powerful society. If such a society is created, we shall succeed and reach the pinnacle in our lives. Now, let's go to the exercise section of the poem. Let's learn the synonyms. Breeding, procreation, rational, intelligence, ajar, slightly open, cackle, informal laugh, constructing, establish or create, vigorous, powerful. Using poem as a passage, answer the following questions. Comprehension questions. What is the hobby of the poet? The answer is, the hobby of the poet is reading. What does ajar mean? Ajar means slightly open. Can the poet fly without wings? No, the poet cannot fly without wings, but can fly only in his imagination. What can children do to the society if they read? The children will succeed if they read. What is the theme of the poem? The theme of the poem is reading hobby. Next, on the basis of the understanding of the poem, tick the most suitable option to complete the statements. The first is reading. So the correct choice here will be D. Help me in thought breeding. Next is my hobby. Here the correct option is we will tick C. Taking me far and near. Third is reading. Children, read and think. Yes, it is B. Let's me fly without wings. The fourth is reading. The correct choice is helps the children to construct society. That is choice number B. Now, let us move on to the next section. Complete the table given below in order to understand the poem better. The poet mentions uses of reading. So, the first is thought breeding. Here, the lines in the poem that describe the uses are reading cultivates good thoughts in us. The rhymes used in the lines are reading and breeding. Meaning of the line is, yes, reading cultivates good thoughts in us and removes bad ones. The second one is opens rations door. So, we have to write our mind is made to think intelligently with logical reasoning. The rhymes are far ajar. Meaning of the line is reading helps us to discern good and bad. The next is fly without wings. Here the lines in the poem that describe the uses are reading makes our mind cry or fly to think boundlessly. The rhymes are cry fly. Restriction makes us narrow minded so we must think freely. Constructing society. If all the children are literate, they can build a dynamic society. The rhymes are read, succeed. Yes, our children must be well educated. Next, we will see rhyming words. Rhyming words are two or more words which have the same sound. Words rhyme if they have similar sounds when said aloud. Rhyming words usually occur at the end of the lines in a poem. Rhyming words make poems or songs fun to sing. For example, let's read a tiny plant. Deep in the heart of a little sea lay buried so so deep. A tiny little plant fast asleep. Out came the bright sunshine. Dawn crept its light into the sea too bright. A little plant woke up to see how bright the world might be. The rhyming words are deep, asleep, light, bright and see, be. Now, let us answer the following. List the rhyming words in the first three lines. Deep, asleep. Which line in the poem rhymes with down, crept its light into the sea, too bright. Now, let us see what a rhyme scheme is. A rhyme scheme is a specific pattern used in a poem which determines which lines the poem. Poet writes poems with a rhyme scheme or a pattern. It is the arrangement of rhymes in a poem or stanza. So, let us see an example. Upon a nice mid spring day, let's take a look at nature's way. Breathe the scent of nice fresh air. Feel the breeze within your hair. The grass will poke between your toes. Smell the flowers with your nose. Clouds form shapes within the skies. The light will glisten from your eyes. So, we, we can see the first and second stanza, day and way are rhyming. 
So, we give the rhyme scheme A, A. In the third and fourth stanza, add and have are rhyming. And we name the rhyme scheme as B, B. The fifth and sixth stanza, toes and nose are rhyming. So, we give the rhyming scheme C, C. And the last two stanza, skies and eyes are rhyming. And we give the scheme A, A. Now, answer the following question. Identify the rhyme scheme of the given short poem. My dog likes bones. He eats them up. He is very sweet. He is just a pup. So, we can give the rhyme scheme as A, B, C, B. Because only up and pup in the second and fourth stanza rhyme. Question number B. Complete this rhyme on your own with A, B, A, B rhyme scheme. I will just give an example for you. Children, you can also work out on your own. Peace porridge hot. Peace porridge cold. Peace porridge in the pot nine days old. Now we have come to the end of the poetry. Next, we will see the supplementary section. Jim Corbett, a hunter turned naturalist. I will give you the summary for the supplementary. Jim Corbett was a British wildlife photographer, hunter, tracker, naturalist and writer. His birth name was Edward James Corbett. He had hunted a lot of man-eating tigers and leopards in India. He used to shoot the tigers and the wild animals with his cine film camera. His dog Robin accompanied him for the hunt. Jim Corbett hunted these animals only to help the people and at the request of the government. His first man-eating tiger hunt was the Champawat tiger. It was a Bengal tigress which was responsible for nearly 436 deaths in Nepal and Kumon area of India. Her attacks have been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest number of deaths from a tiger. The tigress began her attacks in Rupal village in western Nepal Himalayas. She continued her killings even in Kumon district. Hunters were sent to kill the tigress, but she managed to escape. People were frightened to go to forest to collect firewood, fruits, roots and other things. Then the British government requested Jim Corbett to help the villagers. He camped in Kumon district and started tracking the tigress. After several unsuccessful attempts, Corbett managed to kill the tigress. When it, when it left a trail of blood after killing a 16-year-old girl, Corbett followed it. He organized a bait with about 300 villagers. The next day, he shot the tigress dead near the Charter Bridge in Champawat in the year 1997. Jim Corbett was always against game hunting. He promoted the Association for Preservation of Game and the All India Conference for Preservation of Wildlife. He played a key role in establishing India's first national park, the Haley National Park. After Jim Corbett's death on 19th April 1955, the park was renamed in 1957 as Jim Corbett National Park. Now, let's move on to the glossary or synonyms. Hesitate. Pause before saying or doing something. Fatalities. An occurrence of death by accident. Restricted. Limited extent. Preservation. Protection. Fill in the blanks. Jim Corbett was born on Dash, 25th July 1875. Corbett shot wild animals in his Dash, cine film camera. Dash was the first man eater shot by Corbett, the Champawat tiger. Corbett shot the tigress dead near the Dash, chartered bridge. From the passage, answer the questions given below. Children, do this as an assignment. With this, we have come to the end of the supplementary section.